the word for the day is government. As in, government is good. I know that I'm not supposed to say that. The Republican Party for quite a while now and their, their new allies in the Tea Party, which are really the same people, um, have declared war on government. They think government is the ultimate evil in society and that it causes all of our problems. As with just about every other issue, when conservatives get talking about it, they're wrong. Um, and the majority of the time that they describe what they see to be as problems with government, they're either making stuff up or they're lying, and usually both. Um, so we need to talk a little bit about a variety of this stuff, and this is going to be kind of an ongoing theme um, here at FPC, particularly in my writing, is pointing out all the good things that government does and why what Republicans are saying is nonsense. Um, now, another part of this problem, though, is that many Democrats have joined them in this nonsensical crusade against government, and we're all suffering because of it. Um, I think in the uh, the big picture, it was really uh, the the followers of Bill Clinton, his allies, and the Democratic Leadership Council that kind of really pushed the Democratic Party in that direction, um, and they. Uh, apparently are going to go away, which helps, but there are new groups seeking to replace them, groups like Third Way and stuff like that, that are they're going on this, this, this trip down the wrong path as well. Um, but there are lots and lots and lots of reasons why government is good. Now, this is not to say that government is perfect and that there's not room for reforms and changes and improvements. Of course there are. But when we start talking about the problems with government, we need to talk about them accurately. Not just make up arbitrary definitions like, if government exists, it's too big. Or if a program exists, it's inefficient. Those things are nonsensical to assume, just like you can't assume any other kind of conclusion without looking at actual evidence. And to just arbitrarily put caps on government spending, or to arbitrarily decide we're gonna cut spending across the board 5% or whatever these nonsensical proposals are, um, does no good to help anybody and harms lots of people. Because generally speaking, when you have to do those cuts, the things that get cut are the things that help people. We're not cutting, you know, um, you know, the travel budget for the governor or the president or things like that. We're cutting programs that help people. Um, but let's let's talk just for a few minutes, and this will be just off the top of my head, okay? Um, in things that government does that are good, okay? We could do like an entire book on this that would have thousands of examples of things. But just I'll just go on the drive that I'm on right now. Okay, so first off, I'm going to start off by talking about the road. Yeah, I'm driving. There's a road. Government did that. You know what? It's the road that I use to get to and from work every day, and it's a pretty nice road. It's in good shape. It does no damage to my car, and uh, I couldn't get there as easily or as cheaply if this road wasn't here. All along this road are streetlights that allow me to see when I'm driving at night, they allow, um, since we're in a college neighborhood, they allow people to walk at night and feel safe and be able to see what they're doing and not get hit by cars and things like that. There are, uh, oh, a college. There's a college right here, completely uh, a publicly run university that in addition to educating tens of thousands of students every year, also is a research institution which discovers cures to diseases and other important things um, that help improve society. Um, just a second ago, I passed uh, a firefighter rescue uh, first line responder training facility, all government funded, and the people all training there are, are, are all government employees. And what's going to happen is that those employees and those uh, that training facility is going to save lives. People are going to die without that stuff, but they don't have to because government has taken the initiative to help provide those services for us, including the fire truck that was in front of me just a moment ago. Um, I look ahead of me and I see the Department of Education building. 
And so we can go beyond just the university that I just passed or the community college that I just came from where I taught a class um, and start to talk about the K through 12 system, which again has its problems, but for free educates millions of students every year. 100 million students in that system across the country uh, in some phase or another. And society benefits, whether you have kids or not, every member of society benefits from all of those children being educated. And it's done very cheaply, very efficiently for the most part, even though, of course, there are problems. But when we talk about kind of the basic things that people need to know and do in life, um, those schools are very, very efficient at getting it done. Um, I can see you know, all kinds of things around me that are regulated by the government, um, meaning that there are things that are not going to kill me because of government regulation. So there is a, a, a truck in front of me, big, heavy, powerful truck, and I can safely assume that it's not going to explode right in front of me and kill me because of government regulation making sure that trucks on the road can't do those type of things. Um, I can look over next to me and see a gas station and I realize that that gas station is not going to screw me over on how much they're charging me for gas. They're not going to put a machine up there that says that I'm paying for this much gas and then get less than that because a government regulator is checked up on that and make sure that it's um, there. And there's a, a phone number right on the gas tank that if they do screw me over or if I suspect it, I can call that, call up an agency that will investigate that situation and fix it if there's a problem. I see um, road expansion going on right next to me. Um, the road that I'm on is an older road and it's a very heavily trafficked uh, road artery and so there's some construction being done on this um, to expand it and repave it to make it a better road for those of us who have to drive it to and from work every day. Um, I could actually go on and on. Every couple of steps I go, um, there's something else that's been paid for in some way or another by um, taxpayer funds and done by the government. And for the most part, most of it is done very well. Again, there are improvements that need to be done here and there, but let's do those improvements smartly, accurately, and without the right-wing propaganda that by definition, if this is government, it must be bad because that's a lie and it's a lie that's going to hurt people and it's a lie that's going to kill people and we've got to get away from it.